Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, so this is the Arcadian KVD21 gateway. This is actually just the shell of it because I have it up in the, uh, the attic doing some testing for the antennas. But I found out an important trick for getting all of the uh, cell metrics out of this one. It's the web interface does not give you any of the cell metrics. The you know, RSRQ, RSRP, RSSI, signal to noise nor does it tell you which band you're on and all that stuff is really critical for setting up your gateway to get the best signal i'm hoping they add that to the web interface at some point in the future but right now all you get is the bars so i then play with the app and on the app it has the advanced cell metrics in there but it does not have bands listed in there uh, at least on mine some people say it does report it and some people say don't we don't understand exactly why but either way I found a backdoor path now I, I had the help of another uh, uh, fellow T-Mobile uh, friend that uh, helped me figure this out and so I appreciate that and now we're gonna I'm gonna go in there and show you how you can get that backdoor access I right, guess I know it gets a little frustrating sometimes but it is important that you like the video and you subscribe to the channel if this stuff is of interest to you and that helps support the channel and keep it going. So let's go into the web interface. You know, this is the Nokia one and it has at least some basic stats out there for you so you can do some signal optimization. We can go in here and see both the primary and secondary. And you get to see the the you know all the different uh, signal quality, signal to noise ratio, signal strength, that kind of stuff, as well as which bands are in it, and it gives you an identifier that you can go look up and see which tower you're actually connected to. So here on the status page is where you can see which band, and then both the PCI and the other number there you can use to help locate your tower. But now if we go into the Arcadian one, it does not give us any of that. It just gives us number of bars. But there's a backdoor address that we can go into, and I'll show you that here now, that allows you to actually get all of this information on the Arcadian one. So let's hop onto that page. Obviously you have to be connected to the gateway uh, for it. But here's the address you type in, and then lo and behold, it spits out all the same information that you really want as well. It's a little bit more cryptic, or not as it's not a nice user interface, but you can read through it and you, it easily makes sense. And so you can use this, you can refresh this page as many times as you like, and it's going to update your metrics. So this is going to be critical for people that have this Arcadian one that need to try to hone in their metrics and figure out both um, which bands they're on and as well as what kind of quality. And then it has information in there, uh, at least on the, um, the 4G band of the um, uh, ID number that you can go up and look for tower information. So this is what I'm using right now for my external antenna upstairs that I'm going around and trying different places, trying different um, orientations and directions that I'm pointing it as well as the gateway itself. So stay tuned, I will have a video out uh, shortly with what I find out as far as external antenna on this Arcadian. It has a very interesting feature on it and that's that it has six ports for antennas instead of just the four that the Nokia does. I'll go ahead and give you a hint, it looks like all six are active and it does um, change things if you have all six hooked up or just the four hooked up. So more to come on that, stay tuned.